This is courtesy of um, Twitter and courtesy of Adam Mosseri, who happens to be the, what's his role, if I remember his name here. His role is do, 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 head of Instagram. So um, it looks like Instagram over the last couple of years or maybe a few months has effectively turned into a clone of TikTok. TikTok is absolutely dominating when it comes to kids using smartphones and social media platforms not even kids i think most people are addicted to tiktok even if you're not creating content on there the apps the app in terms of using it and have making it be a time sink so you can browse new bits of information and new bits of entertainment is absolutely brilliant how they do the feed how they cultivate everything is really really well done and it's absolutely taken over so i guess most social media platforms are panicking and they want to obviously regain our attention and have us be on their apps a lot so a lot of them are effectively adopting a lot of the tiktok success stories and features and stuff and implementing on their own platform like most startups do most startups don't really innovate they just copy what their competitors do and try to do it better in order to kind of you know um, get more customers or get more users to use their app or their service whatever it may be but instagram is pretty unique in that i felt as if all these years instagram the whole point of instagram was to share beautiful pictures but for whatever reason now especially with a new update that i have it's essentially turned the entire feed of your instagram into a tiktok like platform it doesn't even have the separation of the posts it's all kind of one flow of content stream like a fucking river and, and you can't really delineate between posts that are coming from your friends and posts that are coming from randoms like as i've got on here on my instagram profile right um as you can see here right it's just like a i don't know if you can see on here as i put my phone up onto the screen but essentially it's just one long feed of videos and videos and effectively adam mosiri who got on twitter so he got on twitter recently and effectively confirmed the news after it went viral that the update happened and it's completely horrible and it just takes away from the pleasure of using um uh instagram he then responded to what i felt like was a bit of a viral post i think from kylie jenner he basically retweeted the page that was basically saying make instagram instagram again and he basically got in front of the camera and tried to explain away the reason why they are going towards the whole video side of things and his explanation was full of bullshit but it also is kind of sad and a bit of a confirmation that instagram is basically over and we'll basically just have to put up with it or just move on to another platform. Very rarely in these type of cases do any of these sort of protests with us online and our kind of, you know, moanings and stuff will really change anything. I don't think so. I think it's gonna go the way it's gonna go and we're just gonna have to either keep up with it or just invent a new platform or find a new, another platform to kind of use. But this is Adam Mosseri, the head of Instagram, explaining why Instagram is effectively turning into TikTok and why we don't have any other option but to kind of put up with it and shut up. There's a lot going on on Instagram right now. We're experimenting with a number of different changes to the app. And so we're hearing a lot of concerns from all of you. So I wanted to take a few moments and clarify a few things. One is, if you're seeing a new full screen version of the feed, or you're hearing about it, know that that is a test. It's a test to a few percentage of people out there. And the idea is that a more full screen experience, not only for videos, but for photos, might be a more fun, engaging experience. But I also want to be clear, it's not yet good and we're gonna to have to get it to a good place if we're gonna ship it to the rest of the Instagram community. The second thing I'm hearing a lot of concerns about right now are photos and how we're shifting to video. Now, I wanna be clear, we're gonna to continue to support photos. It's part of our heritage, you know, I love photos. I know a lot of you out there love photos too. That said, I need to be honest. I do believe that more and more of Instagram is gonna become video over time. We see this even if we change nothing. We see this even if you just look at chronological feed. If you look at what people share on Instagram, that's shifting more and more to videos over time. If you look at what people like and consume and view on Instagram, that's also shifting more and more to video over time. Which is not true. Effectively what they're doing, because they don't give you an algorithmic, because they don't give you a feed that's chronological and it's only based on your friends list and they f sort of throw these other posts at you that don't have anything to do with you and are based on your quote unquote interest. Most of those f things that they're posting or giving to you are videos. Most of the things I get sh that get shared that get shared to me in my DMs are videos that people have found online and stuff for reels or whatnot. And it's no surprise that those are the ones that are being shared the most because Instagram themselves are the ones that are pushing those the most or rewarding the content creators or the users of the accounts with those posts more because there's a clear difference between posting a picture on Instagram and getting a hundred likes and posting a video on Instagram and getting 20,000 plays you clearly see where the 
where the sort of algorithm is favoring what kind of content so clearly if you're somebody you're smart and got your head on correctly you're going to keep continuing feeding the algorithm so you can effectively get your little dopamine hit of knowing people are looking at your stuff and hopefully that will kind of boost your profile get your followers up whatever that you think that you want to get out of instagram you get out of it but it's not rewarding pictures which is why i think you're seeing a lot more people especially on my feed i've noticed a lot of habits of people uploading a lot of like slideshows and having the first image the first bit of content be a video right i'm seeing a lot of people doing a lot more reels and now going forward i've heard it not sure if this is true but effectively every video you upload on instagram is essentially a reel they don't even let you upload a video just to put in your feed because before if you put a video in your f if you uploaded a video that was more than 59 seconds it would immediately make it a reel now they're basically making any video you upload on your profile to be a reel. So they especially, which is a reel is basically Instagram's version of TikTok, which they're trying to now integrate into the feed. So I'd imagine there's going to be a future where there's going to be no reel. There's going to be no, dif there's going to be no different, no, um, no delineation between um, a reel and a post. Maybe you'll see on your end when you're uploading, but when you're searching for someone's account, you won't have the different, you know, on someone's account, like on mine, I'll show you, like on my account, you have this thing <clears throat> on my account that shows you like the f the square that see even this is different yeah see it even changes it it shows you the square here right the kind of play button and then you also see that little squarish kind of button i've got on my thing so the play button shows you all the videos i've got on my account on my thing right and the other one shows you just all the post so i think even going forward you're going to see a lot of um you can see a lot of integration between posts and videos. So there'll just be, it'll just be one thing. So if you have a lot of posts, you'll be a post, you'll be a video, a lot of video, but it'll just kind of show them all in one feed, which is really disappointing to be fair. Know that that is a test. It's a test. Know that that is a test. It's a test. Let's go back. I want to be clear. We're going to continue to support photos. It's part of our heritage. You know, I love photos. I know a lot of you out there love photos too. That said, I need to be honest. I do believe that more and more of Instagram is going to become video over time. We see this even if we change nothing. We see this even if you just look at chronological feed. If you look at what people share on Instagram, that's shifting more and more to videos over time. If you look at what people like and consume and view on Instagram, that's also shifting more and more to video over time, even when we stop changing anything. So we're going to have to lean into that shift while continuing to support photos. The third thing I want to talk about is recommendations. Recommendations are posts in your feed from accounts that you do not follow. The idea is to help you discover new and interesting things on Instagram that you might not know even exist. Now, if you're seeing things in your feed that are recommendations that you're not interested in, that means that we're doing a bad job ranking and we need to improve. And you can X out a recommendation. You can even snooze all recommendations for up to a month or go to your following feed. But we're going to continue to try and get better at recommendations because we think it's one of the most effective and important ways to help creators reach more people. We want to do our best by creators, particularly small creators, and we see recommendations as one of the best ways to help them reach a new audience and grow their following. Now, this is a lot of change all at once, but know that a number of things about Instagram are going to stay the same. We're going to stay committed to creators more broadly. We're going to stay committed to supporting photos. We're going to stay in a place where we try and put your friend's content at the top of feed and the front of stories whenever possible. But we're also going to need to evolve because the world is changing quickly and we're going to have to change along with it. And some of the replies obviously underneath were flipping crazy. Um, this person says your obsession with TikTok is embarrassing. Another person says it sucks right now. Stop trying to be TikTok. I don't want to make videos. And this says, yes, we can't. Um, another person says why can't we why can't apps put focus on one thing I just started with photos stay with photos if I want to look at photos I go to IG if I want stupid videos I go to TikTok I hate each platform just trying to follow the other um, another person says stop showing men sh me shopping posts on my discovery page give us the option to turn off recommendations completely which I agree which I'm never going to do because essentially that's their big money earner um, stop forcing people to make reels and suppressing photo posts people are posting slideshows to game the system and it sucks which is just what I said before and people are basically doing that in order to kind of get away with um, posting a video and also posting a post at the same time instagram is terrible now i hate the weirdly bubble format the reels the endless ads for candy it's supposed to be photos shown as they are posted not three days later how about we do that again 
Another person says, I don't want to watch videos on Instagram, period. I don't want to make videos. All I want is to scroll through pleasant photos and any data have, um, and any data you have saying otherwise is because product changes intru intruded on my creation. Exactly. They're saying you want to watch videos, but then they only push videos to you. It's like fucking crazy. Another person said, the shifting to videos of add them because you're all prioritizing rules and creators just make, just make, to make, to make reels, just stop. Christian Teigen says, we don't want to make videos, Adam. And Adam actually replied to Christian Teigen, of course, she's a big celebrity and he said, if you don't want to make videos it's better not to what i want is an instagram that is about photos who prefer photos and is about videos for who prefers video but that's not true though even if you create your platform to like only pictures they'll still keep pushing fucking videos of someone making some fucking pasta dish to you all the time it's fucking annoying um but um, okay, yeah, and someone here, the Kylie Jenner comment said, it took Kylie Jenner less than a day to reach you while you we've been ignored for months and years, which is true. I do remember on the Instagram subreddit, there was a lot of people complaining about Instagram and saying how it was throttling posts and it was going to shit. And I thought they were being really dramatic. And then in the last few months, I've actually recognized everything that they were talking about a couple of years ago has actually come to pass. So everyone on the Instagram subreddit, give yourself a pat on the back. You guys were on point from the minute one. Another point said, you're pushing videos and suppressing photos. That's why people are adjusting what they post and we can only engage with what we see. Respect photographers, which I definitely agree with me being a photographer myself. Now, on the flip side of things, to put my kind of Gary V head on when it comes to social media and adapting and stuff, I'm actually going to try going forward to try to implement more videos in my post as a in my feed as opposed to posts that I like to upload. So when I like to upload my picture, my 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 post of books I'm reading or a, a picture of the club I'm at or where I'm going or a workout, I'm going to do more videos and obviously try to mix it up a little bit and see what happens in terms of my overall platform because i feel like i've stagnated too on my instagram i'm sitting on like two thousand something followers i feel like i should have way more than that um especially for the level of person who i am and the stuff that it put out there but again i don't really post much on instagram but anyway i should i'm gonna try and see if that actually does anything going forward and if we and if i can actually surf the instagram algorithm that they kind of have going on at the moment because i feel like there is a there is a bit in me that still feels like social media is always ever changing and evolving whatever you should do it 10 years ago shouldn't be working now anyway because that means the platform is stagnating and you should be constantly evolving like tiktok creators and how they put content together is a completely different language to how you put together content on instagram but you should be learning how to do everything if you want to be a social media content creator or whatever it may be if you just want to consume and just put up your cool pictures i understand but if you want to be somebody that's kind of taking part in this sort of thing you have to be adaptable and malleable and able to evolve with the platforms as kind of time progresses and technology moves and interest moves and all that kind of good stuff so i'm going to try going forward to upload more videos on my social media feed especially on my instagram and see what happens that way because i think that'll be a good thing to go but i have noticed myself anyway in the last few months a lot more of my friends who would have posted pictures on instagram posting most of their holiday stuff on twitter because it gets more engagement and people tend to in, you know comment on it more and whatnot and whatever it may be and it doesn't kind of gonna get you know arrested and kind of left to the doldrums when it gets uploaded onto instagram and stuff so i'm gonna try to do that going forward i really am i think that might be a good option to to, to kind of just posting up shitty clips and stuff that no one really gives a shit but only pictures so i know give a shit about let's see if that kind of works going forward but for now instagram is dead the whatever instagram you the instagram you fell in love with is long gone you have to enjoy what you have at the moment or seek other platforms but it is kind of annoying like as people have mentioned that you have this kind of cross pollination going on this sort of merging like it's called a brown muck like you know when you mix all the paint together and it just turn into brown muck that's essentially what's happening now no platform is specifically trying to do their own thing they're all trying to copy each other whether it's twitter spaces copying clubhouse whether it's instagram trying to copy the tiktok reel the tiktok sorry um feed whether it's facebook trying to copy everybody like there's no specific thing in the specific people it's just all kind of um a, a mush an amalgamation of everything even fucking whatsapp has stories and shit on it as well which is stupid and redacted but you know it is what it is going forward but hopefully um some changes do get implemented but i am going to try on my feet to upload more videos and see if i can game the system too why not <laughs>